Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Intune training series. This lecture is the fourth lecture in the full Microsoft Intune training series. If you have not watched previous lectures, please do check out the description to get the direct link so that you can watch those videos or you can click on the YouTube playlist so that you can learn complete Microsoft Intune training in a serial wise. And in the past, we have covered introduction uh, for Microsoft Endpoint Manager, uh, also for Intune and the capabilities of Microsoft Intune. And we also discussed the features of Microsoft Intune in the previous lectures. In the lecture three, we did talked about how to create your own computer lab or for practicing or the prereqs uh, for your Intune learning. And we also taken the sign up with the Intune trial. And we also discussed that we need to have at least one Windows PC, Android phone, and Apple devices, at least one of them. And we also talked that as a revision uh, within this lecture. So you are gonna learn initially with the cloud only. Uh, later point, we will move to the on-premises with the combination of your Active Directory from a local Active Directory and a CSIM server and then we would start learning the co-management and other technologies and also we have created a test user account in the groups directly from Azure Active Directory. So we try to create directly from here uh, within the Microsoft Azure Active Directory from all users we try to create a user account and also we created a group a sample group and we also assign the licenses for this group now it's a time for to understand you may have a question can I create the users and the groups directly from Microsoft in tune yes so if you just look at this portal which is endpoint.microsoft.com if you go here you also have the same navigation from a users you can create a new user account and also a group can be uh, created and also you can assign the licenses so this is very much possible and uh, if you're the Intune admin you can do it directly from here or if you're coming from a AD background you might be you know, doing directly from Microsoft Azure portal and you would navigate to Active Directory and you will be performing that changes and also if you're core at Azure Active Directory engineer you might be opening a portal called aad.portal.azure.com and then simply this entire dedicated portal is only talks about Active Directory that's Azure Active Directory navigation so you might be using and if at all if you're coming from your uh, office 365 specific then portal.office.com would be helpful in order to uh, create from an admin center so in my case if you see here uh, I've been to open anytime that's why this navigation if you just go here you can start creating here the users and also groups also can be created directly from here so this is how it's gonna work so let's jump into today's session and in this session we are going to focus on Azure Active Directory especially because Endpoint Manager is completely integrated with your Active Directory as your Active Directory for identity management and without identity management there is no tool to manage or this you can't do anything in fact for Microsoft Endpoint Manager so we have to be work on the tenant so as we discussed in the uh, previous lectures a tenant is the it will represent your identity or your company's uh, identity where you can create your user accounts groups and applications and the, you can register them right and these are with respect to the company specific and you can see here uh, the current active directory which has a license type which is showing here and the primary domain at this point of time it's on microsoft.com which is nothing but your tenant name here so this is my tenant name and this name can be mapped to a custom domain let's uh, let's say if I have a custom domain I would actually point to custom domains here and then I would add here my custom domain and similarly uh, if I want to uh, integrate my on-premises active directory for identity management syncing uh, then I would actually integrate with Azure AD Connect tool so this is the AD Connect tool uh, which will be 
installing you will be installing on one of the member server and you can export your on-premises identities and then that identities can use the power of Azure Active Directory so that's how it's gonna work so that's a basic thing which I wanted to just wanted to explain here if you have if you're already aware of this you can ignore but let's say uh, for the persons who are uh, coming completely base level they need to understand on this concepts so in my case if you look at custom domain I would like to add my company name here so it's not mandatory for your lab because if you remember in our lab we wanted to uh, test as much as possible as the production so in production in your Azure Active Directory guy might have already added your custom domains or child domains or maybe system concern companies uh, complete information so let's say if I have a company called IBM I would simply add here I'll just go here and add IBM.com and then that name must be validated meaning this name should be validated in public DNS so this demand if I bought it from a GoDaddy in within the GoDaddy I need to create these records so that Microsoft will verify that these records are unique and this has been created and I should be able to use the identity identity when I say identity the user account uh, with the username at IBM.com can be used but in my case I definitely not own this public record so I would just you know take it out retry with a domain name that I have already bought so in my case uh, I'll simply click on Azure Active Directory and then custom domains and custom domain I'll simply add here so this is the domain name which I bought it from GoDaddy so one of the records I wanted to add these I'm gonna add it to my GoDaddy as you can see this is my GoDaddy which I logged in here to my DNS management I'm in this navigation and all I have to do is I have to add the record which was showing in my custom domain verification site so it's the txt record either you can create a txt or mx record any one would do the trick for us but let's create txt record which is simple so it's alias or the host name is at the rate and the destination points to this a random value which was given by Microsoft so I'll simply uh, go ahead and open up the go ready page and here I'll choose as text host is at the rate and it's gonna value the two point is MS the value and click on save so once you created this record you can wait for maybe a five minutes or so so that this record gets fully replicated or everywhere in case if you if you're trying to troubleshoot you can also check the DNS propagation and then enter simply the URL or the domain name that you are trying to query so in my case uh, land and then the record you can choose here the text record and simply see here wherever it is replicated it has been replicated almost everywhere except few locations and if I do one more search it might be changes the value except the one almost every everywhere it's replicated except Spain everywhere it's there and the Pakistan so let's uh, go back to our Azure Active Directory and simply say verify so this should verify me uh, or my domain here uh, so that I can use the custom domain so if you see here the first tenant that we created or the tenant name has been marked as a primary meaning if I try to create any user account it will try to create by default username at the rate parimediyoutube.onmicrosoft.com but which I don't want because my users like to enter my company or my domain name so I should be able to make this domain that's how we just verified that as the primary a later point you can change it even user level also let's see in my case in the previous session we did create a user account called Chris so Chris can log in even we have tested the user how Chris was able to log in so Chris is able to log in with a name called Chris at paddy maddy 
dot com which is very lengthy right so if you want to change that upn to a meaningful uh, one which we have already in this case uh, then in my lab dot com i should be able to save to this so that it's just verifies with that name and the user can log in so this is the case for existing user how about in case if you are trying to create a new user record let's say i want to create a username called rob by default rob user account is getting created with the len in my lab.com because it has set as a primary meaning when you set as a primary into the domain so that will take automatically in case if you don't want that you can change a later point also to your tenant name or your domain name so that's how you can create it so let me create if you remember from the uh, previous session that's a lecture 3 we talked about very important one users location in case if you don't assign this users location properly and then you might get an error so let's say I don't want to assign now let's produce that error so uh, I'll just go back to Rob and try to assign a license. I should get an error. See if I just take my license and click on save. It says that license assignment failed for the member. If you get if you click on this, you get more information. It says that uh, you you cannot assign a license without specifying a user's location. So user's location is very very important. So that's why let's go to so Active Directory users Rob and you can edit the profile from here and scroll down a little bit and say uses location either United States or whatever the region he falls or to the country select that and save it. Now I should be able to assign a license for this user without any issues. If you see here lessons assignment is successful so in a few more minutes if I just you know refresh I should be able to see here in fact it's just very quick uh, we're able to see here the license got assigned and the license type is direct not as the inherited in the previous lecture we did talked about the inherit license also so that's all uh, for from the Azure AD point of view and you could uh, do the same things directly from even Endpoint Manager also which we talked. So let's do it one more time from Endpoint Manager. So quickly all users you can see here or you can create maybe a user specific setting or license all that can be done directly from here also there's no difference between uh, doing the things from here or from azure ad portal in case if anybody has a question that how can i achieve maybe a bulk uh, user creation or maybe bulk export or bulk operations you have the option directly you can do it from here bulk create bulk invite bulk delete or you can download the entire users and later point that comes into your csv format and you can work on that csv format file that's all for today's session and i will be catching in the next lecture about windows automatic enrollment and other features I hope this session is useful for you. Thank you for watching this. We'll catch you in the next lecture.